If you find yourself with a stack of checks and you want to apply them to your customer accounts but you don't really want to load up a new page for each customer, go to Accounts and Enter Payment. This interface is most useful for applying manual payments such as checks or cash payments to accounts without having to load up each customer individually to do so. And from this interface we can load up a customer's info via their customer ID or their name. So let's take customer 93 as an example. We'll load up his info, and that's Johnson's Auto Body, and he currently owes us $492.85. Now, the first thing I want to take a look at is what the last payment is that I applied using this tool. And I see it was to Holly Smith for $20, and this is just to make sure that I didn't apply a payment twice to the same customer. So, we'll use the check number field to enter in our customer's check number which is something that they will see on the invoice as part of the description for this payment and we'll enter in the amount here and submit. Confirm that the amount is correct and that payment has now been submitted to the customer's account and we see that they now have a zero dollar balance. Under type we'll see that we have a few options here and regardless of which type you choose these options are associated to the reporting and accounting side of power code and regardless of which one of these you choose, the check number field will always be the description that's applied to the payment and that's what the customer will see on their invoice.